watching Take Two. Well, as we hit the road this morning, you want, might want to consider the bacteria we carry inside and outside our car that could be a bit scary. <laughs> I bet, in some areas. Uh, Dallas on the Bears joins us live from Salt Lake Boulevard with more on a clean drive. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, fellas. Yep, we're hanging out here outside Salt Lake Boulevard. And here joining us on Take Two is our friend Al with Karaj Hawaii. Good morning, Al. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on Take Two. Oh, we appreciate pleasure. your time. And no judgment at anyone, but I feel like we all know someone or were that someone who just has the dirtiest car. Of course. I mean, it is, <laughs> I know there's roaches in some people's cars and Whew, that's a whole other scenario. But not only are our cars an investment, but they get us from point A to point B. And in a way, they do affect our health. Absolutely. So what kind of crazy stories or cars have you seen? Actually, like roaches is very common in Hawaii with the humidity and beach life. So you get a lot of roaches, perfect spot for roaches in the car. Um, those french fries. Ah, those french, fries french fries. And Ugh. the food that goes between the seats and the yeah. center console. Actually, sometimes it contributes to your asthma. Oh. Like if the car, it goes into the AC system and all this dirt, bacteria, mm -hmm. um, it should be get It all clean. adds up. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you know what? Just a disclaimer here. I did not have this car prior to driving here, but the first thing you said is it all starts with the trash. So like you said, sand is just common out here in Hawaii. It's been rainy as well, so mud is going to come in the car sometimes. But after you clean up all this trash, just in this bag right here, what do you want to do first? Let me pick up the client's belongings. Oh, OK. Yeah, the leftover pens and stuff, because we're going to yes. clean the interior part of it. Yes, all right. Sir. And then we will go with vacuuming. Vacuuming to pick first. up the bigger stuff. Like those pieces of mud, sand, leaves, yes. everything that you mentioned here. And what's cool about Karaj Hawaii is that your clients don't have to go to you. You actually go to them. Is that right? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. We, come, we bring our electricity and water, and we come to anywhere on the island. From okay. North Shore, Waianae, Kaniohe. Nice. You know, it's always so satisfying just to see it picked up so quickly. So after you vacuum that vacuum process, I see you're getting the seat as well. Oh, we're going to clean all that mud up right there. Um, what is it you want to do next or make sure you get when it comes to those tight spots? So um, I would go with a light degreaser. Just oh. get all this cleaned up. Oh, nice. I and love this that. This will dissolve all this mud. And, mud and what's that liquid made out of? Uh, so it's a d diluted degreaser. Okay. So um, we use a couple companies. We use mainly street um, street juice. Okay. Um, they have one of their best products here. Okay. And then we're just gonna wipe that down. What kind of cloth is that? We use microfiber cloth. It protects your car from. Um, from being scratched and oh, absorbs wow. a lot of a lot of um, liquid. Yeah, yeah. What's the most common, um, you know, disasters you see inside cars? Oh, get my seat. We we get we get, <laughs> <laughs> we get from um, sand is very common, but you get actually a lot of people don't know actually detailing and car shampooing exist. Mm -hmm. I was I was shocked by this. Um, usually, like we do one client's car, and then their neighbors like, "Oh my God, I didn't know this could happen!" And they have a car that they had for 15 years, never been cleaned. Oh, I see, and it all adds up. You know, I want to do some scrub. Mm -hmm. oh, what are you gonna do right now? Oh, we're gonna use that power tool. I will use the power okay. tool. Okay, let's get a shot of this before we we close this segment. You're gonna be with us for the next half segment because this is so satisfying to watch. Go ahead, scrub. I want to see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh huh. Get it, Al. Yeah. There you go. This Pick is up called mud. This is called a uh, hot water extractor. Okay. Okay. And you know what, Al? You're going to be working on the car for just a bit, but we'll give you another look of Garage Hawaii, the work they're doing inside our car. Oh, look at that before and after. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Reporting out here out Salt Lake Boulevard, Dallas Thunderbirds, K22 News, working for Hawaii.
Dallas, and yes, the Second. detailing. Uh, I've been watching actually a lot of these videos online, the TikTok and Instagram, like the ASMR satisfying cleaning videos, and there we go live. And Garage, they come right up to your house wherever you are on the island. So See that before and service. after? We should stop. Okay, so if you call right now, you will get uh, <laughs> buy one, get one free, and wait, there's more. And That's, wow, maybe. He just sprayed that on yeah. there and sucked it off with the wet. That was great. That was that. instant instant cleaning, instant satisfaction. Did, 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 wonder if did Dallas dirty up the car to get this? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I hope. <laughs> well, I think we all dirty up because it's HON2 car. Well, uh, coming up next, Elon Musk's Musk. He's the simulator guy, right? That's right, the founder of.